Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today it's going to be a match between Midas and Ruin here on Neo Sylphid from Caster Mew Star League Season 2. That happened earlier this year. These have not been cast in English until now. Top side of the map, it is the white Protoss player. It is Ruin. And in the bottom left-hand side, it is the yellow Terran player Midas, appropriately kind of goldish, I guess, would be a better way to say that than yellow, considering his name is Midas. Maybe that's intended, and maybe it's not. I don't know. Anyway, the Caster Mew stuff is very cool. There's a link to his Twitch page. There, Actually, it's on Africa, isn't it? Yes, it's on Africa. There's a link to his Africa stream, where you can see these things live and cast in Korean, if you're interested in that sort of a thing. But if you're an English speaker like me, then probably you're going to have to wait for me to get around to uh, casting them and posting them here on the YouTube on my channel instead. So good stuff. Two great players here. Both have pretty darn solid Wikipedia pages. They're both newer to the scene. And again, that's where StarCraft is going, you guys. Your heroes can't keep playing forever. Flash, Jadong, and Bisu are already on the downslope. Flash is already retired. I mean, Jadong hasn't really done much recently. Bisu hasn't either. So, I mean, if you want to keep watching StarCraft and you want to see current stuff, it's going to be players that maybe you haven't heard of before. Right? You need to get up to date on who the new up-and-coming players are and the ones that are going to take the throne as the best StarCraft players currently. Maybe they'll never be better than Flash. I don't know. We're here. We're here in this journey together. All right. Ruin's rocking a 700 APM right now because, sure, why not? I mean, I, again, I think the best way to do that, if you're interested in getting a stupid inflated high APM, is to just bind something to your scroll wheel on your mouse. I don't know if that's an option in Brood War, though. Like, I don't know if they give you scroll wheel as an option for a command. Definitely not back in the day, because scroll wheels mice did not exist in 1998. I was there, man. I, I saw I saw what was available, and scroll wheels didn't come around until later. I'm, oh, now I'm questioning my memory. My memory. It is being questioned. Whatever. Somebody will tell me when scroll wheel mice were invented in the comments. By the way, leave me a comment if you're interested in having me give it a heart or responding to it because that's what I do. Again, I'll read it at the very least. I guarantee I read every comment anyone ever makes on my channel no matter what. There's somebody going around uh, tossing up a series of uh, poop and diarrhea related comments on my channel, which, hey, I'll take them. Comments are comments. The algorithm loves it all. Anywho... I mean, nothing too crazy here, right? It's a PVT. I don't know if this matchup. The opening has changed all that much in the last whatever years. This looks very much like exactly what players were doing back in, like, 2005, man. We got ourselves Cybernetics Core. We're getting Singularity Charge. We're making Dragoons. The Terran player is going to have to throw up a bunker at some point to deal with this aggression and should do it eventually, but also wants a factory up and has the options to go for a tank or a vulture and go for Siege Mode for that tank or go for Spider Mines or Speed for the Vultures. Either one of those things is going to be pretty good. Any of those options are not bad. So here's the SCV scout. Just kidding. The Dragoon meets him at the w door here. And no, not allowed. Not allowed to scout SCV. But a Dragoon is out. So what that tells you is we're not super rushing to something crazy like a Reaver drop. Which is actually... Somebody came into the Discord the other day. By the way, there is a Discord where we talk about Brood War, among other things. Uh, there's probably a link in the description. But if you just Google Falcon Paladin Discord, a link will show up. Because I have an eternally non-expiring, never-expiring invite to that server. Uh, but he's like, man, I was practicing builds, and then I felt really confident, I jumped on the ladder, and I got crushed eight times in a row, and I was like, yeah, that sounds about like everyone's experience. And, um, he said that he got Reaver dropped as Terran, obviously by a Protoss, at three minutes. And I was like, I don't, I don't think that's possible, and watching this right now, I don't think it's possible to get a, basically, if, hmm, so what do you do? You get Gateway, Gas, Cyber Core, Robo, Robo Bay. The Robo's building a shuttle while the Robo Bay is building a Reaver, and then you go. I think three minutes is too fast for that. I think five minutes is good, and maybe again, if you skip an expansion and you skip this Dragoon, perhaps you can pull it off. But look, it's a bunker, and look, it is a vulture, in fact, and he's getting spider mines. So the answer to this is gonna be spider mines at the moment. For Midas, no big deal about that whatsoever. Whoa! Whoa, Dragoon! Easy! Easy there, fellow! <laughs> Okay, he didn't lose any hull damage there. Just took some shields. Like, all of his shields went away, but those will come back momentarily. Yeah, robotics facility. This Okay, so this early detection is going to be the answer. Because obviously there are going to be ugh, spider mines already. Actually, spider mines laid about. Ooh, that one got burrowed before it died. Very nicely done. Scouting SCB dies again. 
But so far, so good. Who did I cast? I think I cast Scan on this map fairly recently. It was kind of a crazy game. So I hope a crazy game ensues here, too. A lot of high ground for tanks to sit on. Like, this is all high ground over here. Obviously, uh, not here, but like there's bridges you have to cross, chokes. It's very Terran favored, I would say, this map is. This area over here for third base is also high ground, which mm, you can defend pretty easy if you're a Terran player, which isn't to say that older maps aren't the same way. Fighting Spirit has high ground all over the place. Uh, Circuit Breakers does not, which actually makes it maybe even more of a Terran favored situation because tanks can sit on what is high ground and shell your low ground expansions at this at the uh, nine o'clock and three o'clock positions which is bad anyway what are we doing yeah just gonna be observers just like all right gotta see exactly what the Terran is up to here is he going for 100 tanks is he for some reason rushing to a million goliaths which would be kind of interesting or is it a lot of vultures and right now it is definitely a lot of vultures out here for midas as we enjoy the stately protoss music that is so stately. I don't know. There's just something comforting being about playing Protoss. Like, I don't main Protoss, but I play it sometimes. Especially if I'm playing the campaigns for fun. And there's just something about this music. The sound of probes mining. The sound of buildings warping in. It's all just very soothing to me. Maybe I should set up some kind of a looping looping like a sleep aid soundtrack that is just this music, the minerals mining, and the buildings warping it every once in a while. It'd be kind of nice. Anyway, hey look, it's a robotics bay, and it's a shuttle, so we are going to see some reaver drops, or at least reavers used in engagements later on. Uh, the vultures are getting in because the wall is not closed anymore, because the vultures moved out, or the dragoons rather moved out, but that's fine. Other dragoons came in, saved the day, a couple probes died, I don't think there's really much of a problem there. To say the least. Ooh, it's a Wraith coming in. You know what's really good about dealing with shuttles that have Reavers in them? Is Wraiths. Not bad. Wraiths. Waiting launch order. Coming on in here. Dragoons, they've got the range. Guess what has range though? Siege tanks. Siege tanks repair! Hurry! No! The bunker goes down. The repair is not in time, but the siege tank is up. Bit of a bad news bearer situation there. Wow, are you really just going for this right now? Dragoons are kind of pumping in, trying to pick off some of these tanks, but... Not working super well for them right now. So, a quick poke in there. Nothing too crazy done. Just a couple of tanks taken down. Which, as you know, is the recipe for beating Terran as a Perotoss. Third base coming up. And I'd like to see a fourth base start in just a couple of minutes here. Zealot drop coming in. And what is this probe doing here? Oh. Is it. Wait a second. Is he going to do forward shield batteries? Maybe forward cannons? Do you have a forge? You do have a forge. That is an interesting spot for a pylon, anyway. <laughs> Zealot dropping. No big deal. Ah, yes, the wraiths come in handy. And it kills the shuttle, and one tank goes down. A shuttle and three zealots were lost. That is how you do it, Midas. That is how you handle shuttles by making wraiths. I'm really kind of excited to see what he's going to do with his pylon. I haven't seen a forward pylon in Brood War for a very, very long time. Citadel of a Dune coming up. Maybe on the way to Storm, but uh, yeah, you want speed for your zealots, especially the longer the game goes on. Uh, hey, are you protected? Uh, eh, okay, this side is walled off. The top side is not. Oh, last second. At the very gosh darn last second here. The vultures can kind of still reach the probes, but a couple dragoons come over to try to deal with it. Spider mines get laid to get rid of them. Yeah, these players are good, man. I'm telling you, these two guys, you might not know who they are. I don't have cast them on my channels, but geez. Not too shabby stuff there. Does bring the Dragoons over. The Spider Mines are super annoying, and then the cannon comes up to fight detection. But not for all of them. 
And the other ones will live. Another shuttle is here. This one has a reaver in it. Oh, boy. Wraiths. Wraiths, get over. Shut this down. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. You only have the zealot to absorb the tank shots. And then the reaver tries to get something done. But instead, the wraiths find your shuttle and take it down. Doesn't even lose one of the wraiths there. That was disgusting. Nice unload on the reaver, keeping it alive, though. <laughs> this game is so good. This is great so far. I'm enjoying this immensely. All right, so gateway, 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 gateway. A lot of gateways here. So we're going traditional gateway style stuff here. Plus one attack is on the way from Ruin. His name is Otoko, which is close to Otaku, which is a Japanese thing. I know not a Korean thing. I don't know what Otoko is in Korean. Maybe somebody can translate for me. Somebody in the comments. People usually do. I appreciate the help with translation stuff because I certainly do not speak any kind of language over from that part of the world. A teeny, 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 tiny bit. Third base landing here for Midas, though. And again, being on even base, not super good here for Ruin. He needs to keep working on that tank count. The Reaver drop stuff was a total failure. Look at the, look at this. Look at this high tank stuff on the high ground. That is so hard to deal with as a Protoss. I gotta say, I think Midas just has the lead right now. He does. He's at three bases. Observer gets sniped down thanks to the presence of the newly minted science vessel it's 66 to 56 workers dude Midas is out macroing ruin at the moment temple archives on the way from the Protoss player sure getting another forge for further upgrades as he starts plus one armor is pretty nice too the tanks have plus one attack with plus two plus one coming in on the other side he's still trying this shuttle thing man I don't I don't know has he been repairing his rates he's been repairing his rates Midas, you boss. It is cheaper to repair than to replace. And you don't have to take up production time to do it either. I know it's resources, but both of them are resources. Uh, it's mining time you lose, but I really do think in the long run of things, repairing is better than replacing straight up. So shuttle, again, with speed. Look how zippy this thing is. Cruising around. I'm going to try to get a nice reaver shot up into that mineral line. Actually, get, going after the missile turret. Fine. Decent. No, not decent hit on the SCVs at all. Wait, that one was pretty good, though. 65 SCVs remaining after that one, and the shuttle does manage to escape with both Reavers intact. Finally, a fourth base getting started now from Ruin, but he's just behind. He just is. I know Ruin is up overall in supply, and you're like, what are you complaining about, Falcon? But seriously, three basing Terran, who has this many tanks, who hasn't lost that many of them. It's not looking good, is what I'm trying to say here. It is not looking good for the Protoss player. Economically, he's just not keeping up. He's not doing anything about the tank count whatsoever. This really feels like a game wherein Midas is allowed to get up to about 25, 30 tanks, walk across the map, siege up, like right here. So he's hitting the assimilator, and he can kind of hit this base at the same time, and bad things ensue for the Protoss. Reaver drop in the main. We snuck over here. We're going to get the Academy. Couple supply depots in the mix here. Wraith takes down the shuttle. Vultures and Zealots fighting. But eventually the Reaver goes down. He does take a couple SCVs with him. So if you're going to win this thing, this is a way to do it. In fairness, is the drops. God, the white is so hard to see on the minimap, though, with the yellow. <gasps> I can red versus blue from here. Oh, um. Are you okay if we just sit here on red versus blue? Holy smokes, this is so much easier to see on the minimap. All right, I don't care if you say no, I'm doing it. <laughs> Usually shift tab from the default colors makes both players yellow, but it changed it to red versus blue for some crazy reason. Holy crap, I'm so stoked. I am so stoked about this. Okay, um, focus, focus, Falcon. There's a game happening. All right, so Ruin, again, he's up to 185 supply. He's looking pretty good. He's got the upgrades. He's got more upgrades coming in. That plus one armor is almost done for his dudes. And he probably can deny this fourth base attempt of Midas. Potentially. Tank's just kind of slowly sieging up here. And are you jumping on this? He jumping on this. No, oh, Storm. Defensive Matrix versus Storm. More Storm coming on in here as well. Very nicely engaged, at least at the start. But the question as always is, how many tanks are behind the ones you're killing on the front lines? And the answer is a bajillion of them. Not a lot of vultures in the mix, but enough tanks remaining that the Protoss has to turn tail and run here. High Templar are getting sniped down. The Vultures really want to kill the High Templars. They don't care about the Dragoons as much, but a wounded Dragoon that can snipe down in one volley is a pretty good target as well. So, all right. So that was good, I would say, from Ruin. He did manage to take down a few of the tanks. There weren't quite enough Vultures there to keep them alive to a certain extent there. He's got a fourth base rolling. 
The fourth base of Midas was delayed a little bit, but still, it was 134 to 125 supply. Ruin was up substantially. Now he's down by about 10 supply. And that was not a good overall exchange for him economically. But again, but again, keeping the tank count low, even at the sacrifice of some of your Dragoons, is going to be worth it the longer the game goes on here. Oh, nice storm drop. Holy crap, nice storm drop. That was good stuff. Another one comes in. Okay, that was great. Where did the wraiths go? Are the wraiths all dead? I hope the wraiths aren't all dead. Oh, that shuttle. Oh, man, there were like, there was an Archon. Wait. You can't, can you pick up a merging Archon? Well, at least there was a High Templar in there, and it's dead now. So, rough stuff. Uh, <laughs> geez. I'm so excited it's Red versus Blue. Okay, uh, hmm. Another shuttle here. Uh, this is, Ruin is not giving up with the shuttle shenanigans. He's been inspired by shuttle for lo these many years. He's trying to be like his hero shuttle, and so far I'd say it's working out for him pretty well. Zell is going to drop on these tanks. Oh, unseaging, so the friendly fire doesn't kill these dudes. They are very grateful for that. And then they got picked up and got out of there. Look, if you're not going to fire on me with siege tanks, then I don't know what I am here at all. A couple of Goliaths getting into the mix now as well. Got a EMP being researched. Very good stuff. Fourth base coming up here for the Protoss. Or rather, a fifth base for the Protoss. He's doing okay. Expanding at this point. Uh, got a lot of SCVs not going to work here. Midas! There we go. Decides to put them to work up here at the newly constructed fourth base, which is defended by spider mines and vultures with plus three attack and plus two armor. Pushing it again here. Ruin, you can't just, you cannot let the Terran player be complacent. Gonna march in, gonna bring the shuttle in here too, and gonna try to what exactly? Oh, the High Templar want to get some storms off, but they're being very careful. The shuttle knows there's nothing here that shoots up. Nice storm catching four of those tanks. Wounding them exceptionally well. The stor that storm was a little bit unnecessary, but that's okay. And the third base is forced to lift off. A couple of the tanks died there. And the Protoss player pulls back. All right, all right. Ruin, doing some good stuff. He's up 179 to 165 total supply. Midas decides maybe it's time to move out. I have plus three attack. I'm not working on plus three armor, but I do have plus two, which is good. Is très bien indeed. Got a couple Goliaths out. He knows it is not a carrier transfer. Transfer carrier transition out of Ruin at all. I don't know. I just don't know that Ruin has the ability to do this in the middle of the map like this. I mean, if you try to... This positioning by the spider mines is so good. Just keeping a buffer there. Observer does get sniped down. And now you're worried about more spider mines because your detection just got killed. Brutal. Good target firing there, however, from Midas. Small group heading on down to the south. Is he still kind of... Is there an observer over here? There is an observer. Look at that. Look how good he's hidden. I couldn't even see him. How on earth is Midas supposed to see that? That is really sneaky stuff. Man, I'm going to try shift tab in all of my games just to see what I get. Just for the heck of it. Maybe sometimes it'll red versus blue us and make it so much easier to see what's going on. <sighs> that said, it is also fun to have different colors. I don't know, man. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Same colors or red versus blue? This is abject chaos right here. Zealots jumping on top. Defensive Matrix up on a lot of the stuff here. Still marching forward. Can he wipe this out? He feels like he can. Ruin feels like he's got this thing. He's jumping up. On top of the tanks, which is not something you want to do unless you feel like you've got this thing in the bag. And he does. Look at this. Look how many tanks are dying here. Re reinforcing tanks are showing up, yes. But that tank count got reduced by about 20, it feels like, during that engagement, which is exactly what you want to do. High Templar sniped because, of course, High Templar gets sniped in this game. They are a priority target for enemies of the Protoss. Dodging that storm with tanks is always a weird thing to do. Another observer down. With a plus three attack. Double expanding here, too. Wait, two Nexuses warping in. There's one there. Oh, and one here. I like it. I like what Ruin is doing. He didn't get started on the planet as, like, as quickly as I wanted him to at all. But he's expanding a whole bunch. That said, tanks are firing up to that high ground pretty darn effectively. Can they hit the Nexus is the question. 
not convinced they can. Another race coming up from Midas. We will call that his fifth because that's what it is. Yeah, hit that like button if you're enjoying this game so far. I am having a lot of fun with it without question. Meanwhile, oh, Zealot's dragging Spider Mines into the mineral line a little bit here at the third base or the fourth base of Midas. They do manage to get a couple SCVs, but otherwise that was not too damaging to the SCV count. Still 48 SCVs to 62 probes. Oh, they can hit the Nexus. Okay. Wow, this guy can hit the Nexus too from back here. All right, so that Nexus is dead. Trying to come in with the shuttle, but by golly, plus three Goliaths sniping off that shuttle. That's like the fifth or sixth shuttle that has died today. It's been such good shuttle targeting out of Midas in this game. Ruins APM has dropped to about 430. Looking about a 260 from Midas here. Long distance mining happening. Does he even build the command center though? Big attack sneaking on into Ruins fourth base. Down the right side. Nothing, not enough defending here at the very least. And spreading out. Look at this tank line. What a crazy spread out tank line this is. So the southern section is getting broken through right now by Ruin. He's going to probably save the Nexus. To focus down these probes. Vultures need to get back here. Focus the probes down because you're not surviving the day. All right, so as many probes as you could. 51 probes remaining. Big old probe transfer coming in. More spider mines getting laid, but no spider mines left here in order to kill those probes. All right, so the northern half of the line is still here. This is a good game. This is real scrappy. 128 to 123 supply here at 21 minutes is kind of nuts. Shuttle trying to sneak around down to the south here. This command center is finally getting completed from Midas. He's been paying attention to other stuff at the moment. Observers keep getting sniped, which is why they keep getting reproduced. Zealots dropping into Midas' third base, trying to see what they can do. But the vulture count is high enough that he just gets obliterated immediately, and the shuttle moves on, finding a better place to storm. Unfortunately, there's not a full mineral line here, but I mean... Sure, we'll take a kill, I guess, with one storm. Not exactly cost efficient, but again, storm is energy, so it's free? Sort of? Sort of. Zealot does get left behind and then wiped out again. So it's 133 to 131 supply here at 22 minutes, which is just bonkers. We are so close in everything right now. 48 to 49 workers. Both players have plus three attack. And plus two armor. No shield upgrades at all from the Protoss. I expect we'll see more shuttle shenanigans here out of Ruin. I definitely want to cast more of this guy. He's been a lot of fun with his drop style here. Yeah, this bottom right base, a little bit better defended. We've got a couple Dragoons, a couple Zealots, Cannon. Making a bit of an attack up to the north here along this high ground. Where he tried to expand earlier and was denied quite nicely. Storms dropping on the left side. Storms getting down. And the priority here is not necessarily targeting. But the priority here is just making sure you get storms off before you die. In that case, an emergency summoning had to happen. Ruin continuing to push on up into this fourth base of Midas. He's being defended by a tank, which is dead. And it looks like, no, not interested in defending that base at all. All these SCVs are going to die. But at the same time, Ruin's going to lose a Nexus on the right side. So we're base trading here. A base trade for a base trade. Vultures do full damage to shields. So they're surprisingly good against Archons, but not when they're in a one-to-one -one situation there. Not as good as you would think. So Nexus down. And look, Midas heading on down south to make sure he wipes out this one too. If he can get this, then he's going to start starving Ruin. But additionally, if this base dies for Midas and this one goes down, then Midas will be starved at the same time. So both players are quickly moving into a situation where they will not have much income to speak of. They're both pretty even in every situation. Ruin has more probes, yes. And he's able to replant this base. That's so big for him. Look at him trying to hold the choke, at least slow down this push a little bit. The choke gets stormed. A siege tank wanders right on through it. 
And yeah, this base is gonna go 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 get out of here. Midas's fourth base is or fifth base is toast. Fourth base is still running, so that's happy for him. But a bunch of probes are gonna die here for ruin as well. Not a ton. Just about seven of them. Still, he will have the advantage when it comes down to it. No, I just realized no arbiters from ruin today. That is something you usually see, but he's spending his gas instead on High Templar with Storm and using these shuttles to get around. Yeah, so these probes get wiped out. We're down to 35 probes. And again, this base coming back up is massive. Massive for Ruin. If he loses this, he's dead. Look at this assault coming in. This is a really important play right now. Storm on top of the tanks, but all the Dragoons are dead. The tanks are gone too. This tank on the ramp trying to snipe down these High Templar. The storm on the SCV line does kill several of them. 15 SCVs are remaining. This game is just getting an epic tag. I cannot tell you how great this game is right now. It is so tight. Ruin is down. 98 to 56 total supply. I really think Midas has done it despite losing most of his economy. He's at 17 SCVs, but he's gonna wipe out Ruin's remaining source of income right now. The probes don't know what to do. There are some desperation DTs coming down from Ruin, but the scan sees them coming before they do anything. And I think that's your GG. Ruin just doesn't have the wherewithal to get rid of this army. Which, man, Midas does not go home to defend his own fifth base. Instead, sends his tanks down to wipe out three bases of Ruin. And Ruin leaves the game without a GG. And Midas is your winner here in 26 minutes and 33 seconds. Holy smokes. What an absolutely incredible game between these two players. I think that's getting the epic tag. I really do. I mean, how often do you see a Terran player who's on the other side of the map recognize he's going to lose one of his two sources of income. I guess this one is kind of lie, but not really. And just let it go. Just let it go. Basically recognizing it's going to die. Hopefully he has enough to defend against an attack coming in here. But at the end of the game, he's got like 15 SCVs. So he didn't defend it super well. And instead, go clear across the map. This is a long way to get to. Wipes out this base in the bottom right. Wipes out this base on the right side twice. And the second time is the nail in the coffin there for Ruin. He just didn't have the income for it. So... I guess it comes down to the question of, was it smart to skip Arbiters? Was it smart to spend his resources on Storm and High Templar? He didn't win, so obviously it wasn't super, super ideal. But at the end of the day, I don't know, I kind of liked it. He did ruin the economy of Midas. He just didn't have enough to stand against these plus three attack tanks. The Vultures were great, too. Observers kept getting sniped over and over again. And I, I don't know, I just don't think he expanded enough quickly enough to get the win so tricky stuff really tricky game there in the end of it 195,000 points there for Midas 183 from Ruin yeah especially in a situation where one player is yellow and one is white I'm gonna try to red versus blue it for sure uh, ends up producing 500 units for the Terran player to 351 for the Protoss not a good ratio if you're trying to take down a more cost-efficient race like Terran is when they have that many tanks especially Resources are pretty even on gas mind. Uh, Ruin did outspend Midas. So a lot of minerals outspending there by about 6,000, 8,000 there. Somewhere around, but not enough at the end of the day. And uh, Midas with his 284 APM versus the 444 of Ruin ends up getting the day. APM is not everything, as they always say. All right, fun stuff. Really crazy fun stuff. All right, so that is going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of a StarCraft Brood War Remastered and an epic PBT. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.